Arlen's last great rainforest is being killed from the inside out. But the worst part is, we don't even know if we can stop it. This is the Killarney National Park they want you to see. But if I tilt my drone camera down and peer into the canopy, suddenly this pristine tourist destination reveals a sickness with a devastating past. Amidst the native oak, yew and alder, a striking alien green catches your eye. This is Rhododendron Ponticum. Introduced on purpose in the 18th century by people who live in houses like these, these plants quickly took root in these estates and eventually every other garden in the entire country. It is everywhere. But who cares, right? So what if a plant is growing fast? Well, if we look at my drone footage again, you'll see that the rhododendron is blocking all the sunlight from reaching the forest floor, meaning that everything, including new generations of native plants and trees, are being deprived of light and therefore life. Take this for example. This is an area of the forest with rhododendron, and here's what it looked like after it was cleared. Nothing on the forest floor is left alive. Which means, over time, if nothing is done, this national park will turn into one massive rhododendron hedge. Fire won't burn it, frost won't kill it, animals won't eat it because the leaves are toxic, because of course they are, and drought won't snuff it out either because... Well, it's Ireland. However, after over a century of struggle, progress has finally been made for the first time ever. Through a combination of groundbreaking new machinery, revolutionary herbicide application, and the relentless will of good people to make sure the mistakes of the past aren't paid by the future, Ireland is finally winning the battle against this pest. Will we succeed in the long run? Only time will tell. If you would like to volunteer to support this effort, this is their Facebook page.